Randy Hurtado here with Great Redeemer Ranch. And today we're working on a little project. Uh, we've got our front pasture here, just beyond that loafing shed. That houses the Longhorn. It's housed our goats in the past. And anyhow, a couple times a year, we need to drag the pasture because of all the manure and ant hills and what have you that builds up on the surface. Best way to do that, that costs you money, is to buy a drag harl. It'll run you between anywhere between five and six hundred dollars. I found them as cheap as four hundred, but they looked pretty cheap. Then I got online, I was like, certainly there's a cheaper way. And I came across some ranchers that drag their pastures with tires. It actually makes complete sense too because they're heavy and they will destroy anything in their path. And it was really cheap. I got these tires for a big whopping zero dollars at a local tire place that was happy to give them to me because they don't have to pay the uh, EPA fees to haul them off. I went and got 23 8 bolts, uh, about 43 8 large washers. 20 nuts and 20 lock washers and all I have to do is at every point where these tires touch you run a bolt through making them one single unit then when you're all done you run your chain through the front tire hook it up to the back of your tractor and pull away so I'm gonna go ahead and get this project going and stay tuned for the video results of this project all right so it's a few days later i ended up assembling it the same day that i uh, shot the first part of the video but um, then we got ice and sleet and it was just terrible outside so i didn't want to do anything but today is a beautiful day as you can see and we've got it fully assembled i'm hoping that i'll be able to get it through that gate I didn't even think about that, but I guess we'll figure it out. I'll just have to go in sideways, I guess, uh, toward the end, but I'm gonna start dragging this through and uh, it pulled perfectly from where I assembled it over there. So I'm looking forward to dragging all that manure. They think I've got some food for them, but all this manure that you see, that's all gonna get broken up looking beautiful. All right, we're all set. Took me about four hours to drag the whole field. And as you can see, no more large clumps of manure everywhere. It's all broken down and spread throughout the pasture, which will be great nutrients for the upcoming rain that we'll be getting. And this field should be lush with fresh food for these guys. out of some free tires worked out really well another little observation it was cool how the rock uh, the tires actually caught some rocks that I had out here too lots of rocks and 
some cow patties, but for the most part, it did an amazing job. Spread a lot of the old crusty crap that was out there and turned it into a nice fertilizer for the new grow season. Very happy with it, would definitely recommend it. Here's the whole setup once again. Most of us have chains around the ranch, but if you don't, buy yourself a chain, wrap it around the front tire, and then just subsequently bolt every tire to itself at every connection point. And uh, use 3 8 and they worked perfectly. None of them are coming apart at the connection point. They all worked great, so. That's all from Great Redeemer Ranch.